Hi and welcome to video number four. This video we're going to cover creating a sales page. Now after you've created your product, before you can start to sell that product online and make money, you of course need a sales page. And this is the page where you send people to where you actually make the sale, where you have your buy buttons and you have your sales copy and all of your graphics and all of that so this is a very important part of the entire process because you could have a very good product but if your sales page doesn't do your product justice okay then you're not going to make many sales and not many people are going to actually buy your product and you're not going to make much money so it's important that you really think about your sales page seriously now there's two ways you can create a sales page the first one is a text based sales page yeah just words and some pictures and stuff the other type of sales page page that you can use is a video sales letter yeah so you can have a video on your sales page there's pros and cons to both of these I've used both and I've had different experiences and different results by using both so um, text-based sales pages do still work because there's lots of sales pages online that convert very very well but also video sales letters and vi video sales pages are becoming more and more popular yeah and they are very very powerful so what we're going to do is go over some examples of some different sales pages that I've used in my business and I'm just going to explain the differences and the pros and cons of uh, each type of sales page um, and then also um, we're going to go over the price points as well on um, of exactly how much to charge for your product so let's go over to my first sales page which is going to be my avalanche list building video course now you may have already purchased this course you might not have okay this is just a video course that I sell in my business and I've been selling this for over two years and this little box at the top here okay this is obviously a video you can click play and that will and that will obviously play and if I scroll down that is it yeah, you'll see that it's a very very basic page just one video and the buy button below it there and that is it there isn't anything else on the page to actually distract people uh, from watching the video and that's really important that is very important because often you can have videos on the page and there's other things to actually distract uh, your traffic from actually buying the video so a lot of the time I will just have a video um, on the page like this but there are certain times when you can add text on the page as well because this page in front of you this is my main sales page this is a main um, this is a, a sales page for one of my main products okay for when I build my list and people come through my squeeze page and they have the option of buying this particular product here and now but there are other times if we go to uh, the next example which is an email marketing video course and yeah, this is a video course that I sell and um, and you'll see here there's like a, a, a title at the top and below that there's lots of text now the reason why this page is slightly different is because this is actually part of my funnel so if you were to create a sales page you could create it like this but just to let you know this is um, the type of sales page that I use after somebody has already seen my main offer so this is this is an additional offer that, that somebody sees and by that point um, the conversion should be fairly good you know you should um, you should be able to um, make, make some um, good profits from your upsells because if somebody has bought your main product for say ten dollars 
then there's a good chance that they're going to go on and buy the next one for 17 27 or 37 so the sales page doesn't have to be fantastic okay obviously it still has to do its job but you don't have to worry about distracting your traffic because if they've already purchased from you then you already know they're fairly um, interested yep they're, they're fairly interested uh, in uh, buying your stuff that being said there's no reason why you can't use a sales page similar to this as your main product so once you've got your PDF together you could have a, a sales page like this yeah where you've got a video at the top you've got a buy button and you've got lots of different features underneath okay things that they actually get as uh, as part of the course so you could have a sales page like this I'm just trying to show you some examples of, of things to sort of work from because when people say to you just go out there and create a sales page it can be very difficult because you, you've got nothing to work from and you've got no examples to work from so it's important to kind of have some sales pages or, or something to actually work from so as I said this is a product which is part of a funnel but you could still use this as your main product so for instance if you wanted to sell your say if you had a PDF say if you if you uh, followed along um, and you created your product how I've said okay and you've got a PDF and you've packaged it up that's your main product obviously before they purchase that product or before they actually get to it they obviously have to come to your sales page first and actually click the buy button and actually pay you so you could have a page like this with a short video at the top and a buy button and some uh, features and benefits of the product below okay and that will work absolutely fine or you could use the sales page like my list building page here where there's hardly nothing on the page so they both work very well but this particular page here does work slightly better at this stage in the process which is going to be the, the very first page they see after they have either opted into your squeeze page or it could just be somebody coming straight to your sales page from from some from somewhere else online okay it might not necessarily be a person that has opted into your squeeze page yeah because a good time to actually present a paid product is after they have opted into a squeeze page so this is this is why I sold this product at this particular time and it could be the same in in your business it could be the same for you you could end up selling your product or presenting your paid product at the same stage as I do okay straight after the opt-in but that's something for you to think about um, at a later stage but I think to focus on at the minute or think about is the type of sales page that you want to use so you could use one like this where you just have a straight video here yeah and uh, they click play and one thing that I do do on my sales pages especially on this one is I auto play the video so as soon as somebody comes to your sales page your video needs to be on auto play so so straight away okay you can capture their attention otherwise if they've got to click the button to actually watch the video you can lose people yeah people will get distracted easier I mean, believe me it happens yeah all these little things are very important you, you you really do need to think about all the details it's not just um about the big things it's sometimes all the small details all, all combined can make a massive difference as well so um this is the type of video that you can create okay with nothing else on the page and just a buy button below another thing you can try and I've tested it and it does work very well also is you can have a delayed buy button underneath your video so you can do it so that your buy button appears after so many seconds or so many minutes of the video being played so you can do that and it, it does work very well do not think for one moment that people will get bored because there's because they can't buy the button yeah what you have to do is you have to create your sales your sales letter or your sales page 
or your video in such a way that you hold their attention the best you can and when you do that they will watch the video more or less to the end and that's going to be when your buy button does actually appear so having a delayed buy button does work yeah it does help with your conversions so you've got that one you've got this one as I said with a little bit of extra text underneath now in case you're wondering about what type of video to create okay this this course obviously isn't about how to create good video sales good videos for your video sales pages the best thing to do is just outsource the video okay um, which we will go over later in this video towards the end about where you can outsource stuff but for now uh, you know it's mainly about what type of sales page that you want to use for your product you know how you're going to lay it out and and the type of um, sales page you're going to use you know video are you going to use video and text or just text it's entirely up to you the next one we're going to go to is a product that I have on the warrior forum okay if you're not in the internet marketing niche don't worry about it this is just another example if you are then that's fantastic this is just a product that I've recently released on the warrior forum okay I've used the in-house text editor which as you can see you can still create a half decent sales page so this is this is one that I've released on the warrior forum so you can you could use um, a similar type of layout yeah a nice big headline with some sub headlines there buy buttons there and then I always have an image of the product I find that really helps and not only that but it breaks things up a little bit as well and then you've got your your guarantee image there which is also important and then uh, another like small headline and then a buy button and then a picture of me I always find that having a picture of yourself on the sales page helps as well because this kind of puts like a face to the product and the next one we're going to go to is a text-based sales page remember this one is on the warrior forum okay this is out of my hands I have no control over this particular website because this is the warrior forum although this is my thread yeah this is my sales page here it is on the warrior forum so I don't have any control over that that website but this one I do yeah this is my own website this is avalanchelessbuilding.com forward slash solo dash ad dash professor this is the solo ad professor course that I released a while back and I created my own sales page on my own website and you can see that I've got an image there again solo ad professor and I've got buy buttons there with some features you know ticks um, guarantee and I've got another buy button my face and some FAQs at the bottom there and another buy button so as you can see it's fairly simple one thing to know that about sales pages is the most important part is the copy okay you can have a sales page that looks really ugly but if the copy is quite good then that will often still work very well so it's more to do with the copy than it is how it looks so you could have really good graphics you have really good colors and images and graphics and all of that but if the copy is terrible yeah it won't really help that much at all yeah I found that out myself I've, I've had sales pages that have not converted very well at all and they've had very good sales pages you know all the graphics look good but obviously the copy wasn't very good so um, so it didn't work very well so this is this is the this, or this is a sales page that I've created on my own website. So it's fairly simple, as you can see. It it isn't something that that uh, took me a long time. I think it took me a few hours to put together. And this is one that I done myself. The next one we're going to look at is again a website. This is my own website. This is on my own domain. But this one is going to be with graphics so what you can do is you can create your sales page and then you can just outsource the actual graphics so you can say to your designer that you want your sales page in this type of format you know you can say that you want you want it um, 
you can say that you want some graphics done for your sales page and uh, if you look at this one this is actually a fairly good one I've had a lot of uh, feedback from the sales page a lot of people like it so uh, the sales funnel commando is just a, another information product that I put together a while back and as you can see there's some good graphics here there's some uh, good colors and then again my guarantee button there but this type of sales page what you'll find is you'll only get about four or five images and all you do is upload the image to the actual page and then when you save it it will just appear as the image it will just appear and this sales page here there's actually about five images here so you just put one image below you just put an image below the next or below uh, you just put one image after another all the way down the page and there's about five images and it's that simple and obviously if you give the copy to your designer then they'll do everything for you and uh, that's obviously going to cost you but uh, this is something that I've done and it does sometimes make, make a big difference as long as your copy is fairly good it can really help with your conversions by making it look really good you know, and colourful and professional so these are just some of the sales pages that I've used the most important part to take away from this video is you now kind of know what options you have when it comes to sales pages yeah you don't have to make a 10,000 word sales page yeah you could have a very simple sales page like this which just shows you um, this is just a, a, a basic video yeah on autoplay with a buy button below if you was to have that on your website on your sales page that's absolutely fine yeah as long as you follow a proven script within your video sales letter you'll be fine or if you'd rather do it this way you can do it this way when you've got more like text on the page now before I end this video there's a couple more things that I'm going to go through the first one is the script of your video yeah I'm not going to go into too much detail about what to sort of put in the video because that's not what this course is about <clears throat> however one of the things that's worked for me is if you if you're just upfront and honest and tell people what they get in the course that is good enough you will make sales you will make plenty of sales what I've done for this particular video here is I've gone through every video that I've got in the course so I opened up each video like nine or ten videos in the course in my tabs my browser and I went through each page and I just said look this is mod this is video one or, or module one and this is what we're going to cover and this is what you'll learn and the video goes on for around I think it's about five to six minutes something like that and I just tell people what they get in the course and believe it or not this works people sometimes just want basic information on what they get what they're going to learn and yeah they'll, they'll buy now and it's as simple as that so if you're really stuck and you don't know what type of sales page to create then a video sales page a video sales letter and just create a video of like a walkthrough and just say look this is what you get in video one this is what you get in video two if you've got a PDF then just separate the PDF into categories yeah and just go through each category and say right the first section or the first topic we're going to cover is this this is what you're going to learn and that is one of the most easiest ways to actually create a video sales page yeah just or a, a video sales letter it's really really simple of course there are um, extra things you can do if you were to outsource it and pay a little bit more money yes you could have a more powerful sales letter designs but what you've got to think about at this stage is you want to keep costs down you know before you start to make any money you don't want to sort of spend too much out in the first place so and this is what I did for this particular video this is just a walkthrough and it does work really well now the other thing we're going to cover is price points of the actual products that you sell in your business what we're going to do is go through some of the price points that have worked well for me and I know for a fact they will work well for you too so what we're going to do is go back on, onto a uh, blank screen and then we can cover 
some of the price points. Okay, so the first price point is around five to seven dollars. Yeah, one of my first products that I sold online was a video course, and I sold that for five dollars. Now you may be wondering that why it's only five dollars. Well, I wanted to get buyers and customers through the door. One of the things you've got to realize is when you when you go into any particular type of industry or niche or market you have to kind of build your authority up you can't go into it and start charging hundreds and hundreds of dollars for your product and expect to make thousands of bucks thousands of dollars quickly okay it's not going to happen a lot of the times why people buy from you is because it's going to be because of your authority yeah your reputation and if they think they can get some value from you they will pay you money the more value that they think they can get from you the more they would expect to pay um, and not only that but even if you still can provide a ton of value and you keep your price fairly low then that's obviously going to court that's obviously um, of course going to increase your conversions so you know don't think that um, if you charge five or seven dollars it's going to make you look like you don't know much or the product isn't very good it doesn't work it doesn't always work like that okay there's lots of seven dollar products out there that are fantastic okay so don't think that if you only charge seven dollars that you're going to devalue your product if you were to charge one dollar or two dollars yeah maybe but five to seven dollars for a a nice little ebook with some good valuable information in is absolutely fine so five to seven dollars does work fine if you wanted to go up a little bit more then one of the price points that I've used and which has worked well for me is nine ninety five. Yeah, nine dollars ninety five. The next price point after that is seventeen dollars. Then you've got twenty seven, thirty seven, forty seven dollars. Now if you haven't been around the internet marketing industry or niche for any length of time, then you'll probably be wondering why I've got like five seven seventeen twenty seven and, and and price points like that well it's a proven fact online yeah it's a it's proven that the price points ending with a seven convert higher than anything else yeah it may not be mu by much but they are proven to convert higher than any other number so this is why you see price points online ending with a seven. Yeah, seventeen, twenty-seven, thirty-seven, forty-seven, sixty-seven, ninety-seven, one, three, seven, one, four, seven, one, nine, seven, two, nine, seven, and the list goes on. Even nineteen, ninety-seven. Yeah, ending with a seven, they they are proven to convert higher. Now that being said, it doesn't mean if you if you were to use a nine ninety-five price point, it's not going to convert very well because that's actually what I use on one of my products and it does convert fairly well so you just have to kind of choose from anywhere from like say five dollars up to around I would say up to about seventeen dollars for a front-end product especially if you're fairly new and you're starting out and you just want to build some customers and some buyers into your business you know you want to build uh, a customer list then I would try and keep the price point fairly low yeah don't start out charging too much money because not only that not only will you not make many sales but you're gonna get disheartened when you don't make many sales so at least if the price points low you're gonna see more customers coming through the door you're gonna see more sales and this is gonna help you to stay motivated to then put more effort into your business to then get more results and make more money and this is why I kept my price points low to start with yeah five dollars but a good start would be maybe maybe seven dollars or, or maybe seven dollars nine ninety five or seventeen dollars that being said there's no reason why you can't test other price points like eleven dollars or twelve ninety five or seven ninety five of course you can but these are just this is just a guide for you to work from I would only got to around seventeen dollars as your main product okay this is going to be your your main product that you have um, and then 
as you become more experienced yeah as you build more of an authority in your niche then of course you can increase the prices now this these price points are if you've just got a main product yeah I'm not talking about if you've got like three to four products that you offer after the first one yeah we're not going to go into any of that because that'll just confuse everything we'll keep it nice and simple yeah you want to create a product when you have your product out there in cyberspace you can just start it at around five seven dollars nine ninety five seventeen dollars something like that I would not go above seventeen seventeen is probably the the highest I would charge at the moment and uh, you know at least until you become a bit more experienced a bit more familiar with how things work and you build a bit more authority within your niche you can perhaps then increase a little bit more but by all means just test if you if you want to try the price point at 27 or 37 or even 47 that's fine you know you can try it but my advice would be keep it fairly low so you get more customers through the door otherwise you're going to get disheartened when you don't get many sales because uh, unless your sales page converts really really well you're only going to generally see about one or two sales for every hundred people that come to your sales page if your price point is, is around twenty seven dollars yeah, or thirty seven dollars if your price point is around seven dollars or nine ninety five something like that as long as your sales page is half decent then you could see anywhere up to around eight or ten sales per hundred people that come to your your sales page yeah so it really depends on your on your sales page my video sales page that I showed you earlier my list building uh, video uh, sales page that usually generates on a 995 product that usually generates anywhere from around four to around twelve customers per um, per hundred people to the sales page yeah so and the last thing I'm going to say is you have to always think about the type of traffic that you send to your sales page as well because the conversions will vary depending on the traffic if you were to send a a person from your opt-in page directly to your sales page the conversions could be fairly good because they'll be fairly warmed up you'll know that they want some information and they could be prepared to pay for some training there and then however if you were to send some traffic from a forum okay or it could be SEO traffic it could be blog traffic then the traffic could be slightly different it could be more targeted it might be less targeted yeah but always think about the traffic that you send to your sales page because your conversions won't always be the same for every traffic method that you use so always bear that in mind and that being said that is the end of this course it's been a long video but I hope that this has helped when it comes to creating your sales page online so you've got text based sales pages and video based sales pages so I've gone through the price points I've given you lots of examples of like different pages to like use in your business um, and uh, and the price points to use and what I'm going to do as well is um, somewhere within the course there will be some additional um, files and some folders that, that you can uh, go through and I'll be giving you links in there where you can get your sales pages outsourced okay and these are guys that I've been using for a while and they are very very good so there'll be some links in there if you want to outsource any of your sales pages you can of course go there so I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one which will be video number five